Okay, hello. Right, now, <coughs> I'm so leaving off from the last video. I sewed on the pocket, half the pocket, and the zip, and pattern piece B, and it, it's a little sandwich, so the zip is in the middle, um, the half of the pocket is one side, and the pattern piece the other side. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and <coughs> iron this and top stitch it. Um, I like to do it as I go along, because I find it keeps the... The sides equal um, and and stops the fabric from moving too much. So when you finish this section, that you you might you won't have much to trim off and can keep the length of the bag. Okay, I'm going to go and do that now, and I'll be back. I top stitch this now. Um, see there. And there, I put a little pin each side of the pocket just to stop the fabric moving. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put another another row of stitching in just a little bit below that one. Um, it keeps the fabric nice and even and it's easier to fold when you finish this section. So I'm going to go and do that now as well. I've top stitched in now, my zip is nicely in and secure, you see, now what I'm going to do now is just a personal thing to me, but um, I like this bag and the fabric's not cheap so um, I want to make it nice as I go along if you don't mind. So what I do now is I put a little embellishment on. Um, as I go, so I'm going to put that along there. You don't have to do this, um, but if you do put an embellishment on, like a bit of lace or anything like this, don't put it right to the end. Just leave a gap, like quarter of an inch, because you don't want this going in your f side folds, because um, you don't want to make it any thicker than it is. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go and do that now. Okay, here we are. I've sewed on my bit of rick rack and I've left a gap at the end so you can see that. It's just a personal thing and um, you don't have to do that. Um, but what you do need to do if you're putting it in is if you're going to put the magnetic snap in from the pattern, it needs to go on now um, because it will be here. This is the bit we've just sewn, this bit, and it, it, it needs to go here somewhere. I'm not sure where because I never put it in, but it says in the pattern, and um, that will be around here. So you need to look at the pattern for that, but if, you, if you're putting it in, it needs to go in now. Okay, so next, if you get pattern piece, C ready and the second half of the front pocket and we're going to do that next. Okay, here's pattern piece C and that's what we've done so far. So I've marked my centres, I've put a pin down here and it's marked there. So what you've got to watch now is the direction of this fabric because when it's in the bag it's folded like, um, like here. This is the bit we're doing now, so this, all you need to do is just fold it over and check which way your pattern's going. So then I'm going to flip it, so again the, the, it's the wrong side and the direction is facing downwards towards you and we're going to attach it to the edge of the zip. See if I f if I fold it now, I know my my direction is the right way. So once again, it's gonna center it up and put it in the to the edge of the zip. Um, what you can do now, if it's if you're finding this difficult with the three pieces, the zip, the pattern piece, and the pocket piece, 
um, based on the first piece the pattern piece you could base this on now with stitches and it might make it easier for you to put the pocket piece on um, second I just do it all in one go but because um, I've made a few of them so it's easier but um, it's just one way to make it easier for yourself um, so I'm going to go and pin it now um, I'll pin this on and then I'll pin the pocket on I've pinned this on and I'm going to baste it just to show you um, that way of doing it. So I'm going to go to the machine and put a basting stitch in this now. I put a basting stitch in, let's see. And now, um, so this is what you should have now. what we got now so far it looks like that so now I'm going to put the other half of the pocket on and this is gonna go this side so wrong side of pattern piece B right side of pocket um, and the second half of the pocket is gonna go along this line here so again watch my direction so upside down facing towards you and I'm going to pin it secure it there and I'm going to sew it all together a proper stitch okay so if you go and do that and I'll do it as well so I'll be back I sewed on the second half of the pocket you can see there. Yeah. And that's the other side. That's my basting stitch. I did it a little higher because I didn't want it anything showing through. Just uh, just want to show the one line of stitching. So I always do it a little bit higher. So that's that. And then you turn it round. Um, it should look like this. This is the one we've just sewed on now. It should look like that. And this is the other side. Like that. So I'm going to go and press that and top stitch it. I don't put any decoration on this side because this is the back of, of the bag. Um, this bit here, so I don't, um, so I just leave that bit, I just top stitch it. So I, I will do that now, and then um, if you do that and then get pattern piece um, D ready, one of the first big pockets, and a zip, okay. Right, I've done my top stitch, as you can see. And this is what you should have now. It's pattern piece B, a zip. Um, you can see the pocket. That. And this is the back of it. That. So that is the tray first pocket and this is the second section now so it will be going like this like that. so we're going to attach now pattern pattern piece D and the second pocket so here's my next section Two pieces and a zip. So what we're going to do now is we're going to attach the zip to the 
to here. It's following the same process as we've just done. I'm just going to go through this pocket because you're adding to fabric um, instead of starting off. But once I've done this one, um, I'll finish this section because the next two pockets are exactly the same. So I'm not going to waste um, time going through them. So, okay. Right, same process again. Um, I'm going to attach the zip, centre it up. You should have put centre marks on um, there like that. And secure it to the fabric and put in a basting stitch. Um, or if you want to do the whole thing together, um, it's, uh, you just do, do that and then you add the pocket on top like a little sandwich the pattern piece C the zip wrong side down and the next pocket wrong side down and to edge of the zip but I'm going to baste it and then put the pocket on after I've basted the zip I, I've sewed on the zip it's not very neat, but it doesn't have to be on um, this bit. It does need to be neat when you sew the next bit on, which is the pocket. So that's my zip on. And now I'm going to put the pocket on, um, wrong side facing you, and to the edge of the zip, secure it, and then sew it on. So... So I'm going to go and do that. Pocket, right, half of the, that's the first half of the pocket sewn on. Um, be like that. Like this. So I'm going to um, go and press that and top stitch it. And then sew the second half of the pocket on and pattern piece D. Right then, um, okay, so that's one half of the zip sewn on. I've done my top stitching and I've put my little bit of rick rack on. You don't have to put that on. That's not in the pattern, it's just what I like to do. And there's the back. And this is what it's looking like now. Okay, I'm going to put the um, pattern piece D on now and the second half of the pocket. Okay, pattern piece D, I guess upside down um, if you're facing it. Flip it, same thing again. Attach it to the edge of the zip and you can baste it on now. Um, before you put the pocket on or if you want to do it all together if, once you've got that flip it over and put the pocket on this side of the zip like that facing down and um, secure it all and sew them all together I'm gonna go and do that now all right the second half of the pocket is sewn on as you can see um, and that's what you should have now, like that, and like this, so, like that. So I'm going to go and iron that and top stitch it, and the process is exactly the same for the next two pockets and pattern piece E and F, so I'm not going to go through that, because um, I'm just repeating myself. So when I come back now, we're gonna, I'm going to be um, folding them to make the main section and sewing up the pockets as well. So that will be next. Okay, I um, hope this made sense and was better than the original. Thank you for watching. Uh, I won't be long and I'll come back and do the rest.